every week movies release, with the only indicator of quality being a disembodied collection of critics. That all changes now. Welcome to Joe at the Movies. Wrath of Man is sort of a hard movie to pin down. The first half of the movie feels like a lampoon of 80s action movies, with over-the-top characters and cheesy dialogue cranked up to a million. It's a sort of thing that can go really wrong, but Wrath of Man plays into it well, and is often very fun and funny. Then about halfway in, there's a time jump, and everything falls apart. The jovial tone becomes lost as the movie stops poking fun at genre cliches and starts embracing them. Now, this part of the movie isn't bad, it's just not as unique, and putting it up against the first half really hurts the whole experience. I just never really adjusted to the switch. This movie was directed and co-written by Guy Ritchie, and if you've seen a Guy Ritchie movie, you know his stuff can be a lot of fun, including his last movie, which was released only two years prior. It feels like the studio let Ritchie go wild, but stopped him halfway through. I would have rather they just stuck with one style, whether that be the first or second one. I liked a lot about Wrath of Man, but the second half just drags everything down, to the point where I can't really recommend it. I give Wrath of Man a thumbs down. Wrath of Man is in theaters now and is rated R.